we will, we will be free! For when the rising tide has turned in every London quarter, Parliament comes crashing down with Boris Rules of Order! Sorry, folks, we have a new German photographer, Otto Focus. Yes. Oh, that's not my joke. That's a puke and snot joke from the Ren Fairs. Come on. I haven't been to a Ren Fair. Well, you, you haven't been to a Ren Fair? Oh, man, you don't know what you're missing. I <laughs> know what I'm missing. I would like to go. I just It just never worked out. <laughs> you got to go to one. I, but well, I don't like got, turkey got, legs. Huh? I don't like turkey legs. They got more than that there. I know, but that's like kind of what they're known for, and I don't like the I don't eat the turkey legs. They there. smell, though. I don't eat the turkey legs in Larkspur. <laughs> yeah, but... I don't like the smell of them, and they're all over. <coughs> I, prefer, I prefer the uh, sausage, <coughs> the nachos, and the beer. Nachos. Now that is very anachronistic. I know. I know. It's very. It's very period in my end. But yeah, no. Next time there's one, remind me. I want to go. Well, assuming this coronavirus crap gets out of the way, this should be on the summer as normal. Well, if it doesn't, we might be living in those times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it becomes obsolete by na by accident. Yeah. yeah. I bought this leather like gherkin thing already to wear. <laughs> I saw it on eBay. It was pretty well, you, fantastic. Yeah, you, 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 get, you gotta see the gear shops. That's all there is to it. I'll find you something pink and chain mail. I got my zine. Well, zine is not really authentic, but why not? <laughs> okay, anyway, all that aside. Monday, March the 30th. Here is the question. Oh, it's, oh this is down your Main Street. This is substitutes. Oh, I better not fuck it up. <laughs> Watch. Okay. I'll fuck it up. A substitute offered for a main motion of only one sentence must A. Also consist of only one sentence <laughs> B. Be moved as a primary amendment C. Be amended only by striking out words D. Be amended only after the original main motion is perfected by amendment B. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I know my substitute. I love my substance. That was that one was flamingly obvious. I mean, so yeah, let's go and well, then. Here's the, before we go to the page number. I'm, I'm going to walk through the logic of how I would say B too, besides looking at the mm -hmm. back of the sheet. Um, a one sentence for one sentence. No, that's just insane. If that were the case, we would never get anything amended anywhere. Well, we kind of almost do. Don't yeah. write well. Um, be amended only by striking out words. That's not what mm -hmm. a substitute does. We talked about that a couple mm -hmm. days, couple days back. D amended after the only the original main motion is perfected by amendment. You could do it that way, but then what's the point? That is like <laughs> that is if you didn't know that would be a reasonable guess. Yeah, it's not the rules, but but it'd be a reasonable guess. Yeah, it'd be. Oh, let's get this down as as possible. Now let's just throw out the window and put something else in. Yeah. Yeah, but it gets kind of well. Keep going. Okay, so one fifty three twenty seven through thirty. Fill in blanks, amendment, commend to refer. No, it's before that. Did it? No, that's too far. Once, at first, they're confusing, but once you get the hang of them, they're great for platform yeah. committees, and I'm, I would assume for functional yeah. bylaws. Committees. Gravity happens. Okay. We Let's, haven't been on a functional bylaws committee, but. I'm not saying anything. I am. <laughs> okay, 27 to 30. Okay, this goes back to line 22. To substitute. A motion to amend by striking out an entire paragraph, section, or article, or a complete main motion or resolution, and inserting a different paragraph or other unit in its place is called a motion to substitute, and the paragraph or resolution to be inserted is said to be offered or proposed as a substitute. A substitute can be offered for a paragraph or a main motion of only one sentence, and in such a case, the paragraph proposed as a substitute, so there's your only sentence mm -hmm. thing going, excuse me, um, where was I? Oh yeah, there we go. In such, in such a case, the paragraph proposed as a substitute can contain several sentences. For the replacement of sentences within a paragraph, see below, a substitute offered for a main motion or resolution or for a paragraph within a resolution is a primary amendment and therefore can be moved only when no other amendment is pending. If a motion proposes to replace one or more paragraphs that are involved in a pending primary amendment, it is a secondary amendment to which the term substitute is also applicable. It's asterisk. It is, also, it is thus 
possible to introduce a proposed substitute for a substitute which cannot be amended since it is a secondary amendment. This folks is why I don't like substitutes and she loves them. <laughs> yeah, it does. It, you very rarely get into the substitutes for a substitute. Thank God. <laughs> um, because it's a secondary amendment. Um, and I don't really think you should use the word substitute for that. To me, it's a strike and replace. And just use that terminology. Because when you, yeah. when you have a... We, we explained this once before, but I'd love substitute. Someone explain it again. So um, you have one motion, one complete motion, and someone uh, that it's germane to the topic says, no, I'd rather it say this. And so completely different that you don't, a strike and replace just doesn't work. Right. You get to then, and, and you move it as a substitute, right. rather than a strike and replace. If you move it as a strike and replace, it follows a normal amendment procedure. If you don't move, if you move it as a substitute, the two separate motions get to be perfected simultaneously, right? With their own levels of amendment, which creates chaos if you don't follow. If you don't have a, if you don't have a chair that's on top of things uh -huh. and is able to explain what's going on to the members, which is why the chair needs to be giving a scorecard of this as well as who's speaking how many times when. And so that's like I, that. I always have a thing in front of me and yeah. you know do it both. Now where they're talking about a substitute for a substitute. So on your substitute, if someone goes, no, I don't like any of that language. I want to substitute this for that. It really is. Um, a secondary amendment mm -hmm. to the primary, not to the first. Right. You understand? Yeah. And it gets confusing. I don't recommend going that deep. I don't recommend substitutes at all, but that's just me. Oh, no, substitutes work. You get to better <laughs> results on platform committees, particularly. Okay. I've only seen it real, and again, I think it would work well on a bylaws committee, too. But on a platform committee, it works really, really well. And I think you come up with a better result because you have the two competing ideas, which are often factional. Mm -hmm. And rather than one faction winning over the other, you get to perfect both of them to something that both sides can accept. Mm -hmm. And then the better of the two. So to me, it comes out with a much better non-factional product. That's why I like substitutes for platform committees. So I guess okay. that's it, right? That's Was that you? You're, you got a gavel? Room. Yep. Okay. So I, I substitute a, I substitute the motion for adjournment. Hi. Is there thirty one days in this month? It's March. It better be. Oh, um, I don't know the the tune. Thirty one days have September, April, June, and Montana, and all the rest of thirty one except for February, which who knows what the hell is doing. <laughs> Fever. Let's hear the opposition side like a stubborn donkey's bray. All opposed. You say nay. Opposed. Opposed. The motion carries anyway.